Coach Kaborik um, of Lincoln East Spartans. Appreciate you doing this. How do you think today went for the time trial? Went well. I'm an inexperienced team. Uh, we lost out on a practice this week because of the weather on Wednesday, so a lot of the kids kind of ran in the wrong direction a few times, but uh, uh, we gained some experience and some insight into who we are. I mean, we're starting to form our identity as a young team. 72% of our kids have never run cross country before. Oh. Or not, weren't on the team last year and ran, so. And a large portion of those kids are freshmen and sophomores, so inexperience is the name of the game for us right now. How do you, how do you think summer went and kind of that, that team bonding um, during the summer? I think it went really well. Um, had good numbers throughout the summer. Um, a lot of kids got to know each other, um, which is important so they don't have to figure each other out on the first day of practice. So I thought that was really good. And Coach Kaborik and I were up there almost every day and I was very impressed with the numbers we had. Best numbers ever for summer for us. Had unbelievable numbers for our clinic. Um, and we had a lot of kids put in a lot of time. And it sh to be honest with you, the kids that put in the time, it showed up today. It showed up today. Um, kind of going forward, I know you have a Nebraska Westland invite next week up here. Um, but looking even further ahead, what's kind of the goals or expectations? Or what are you looking forward to this season? It sounds cliche, but it's 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 going to be meet by meet, day by day. We're just hoping to get better. Uh, our motto this year is pound the rock, and uh, you know, um, you know, we're hoping to run our best races in October. And and you know, I think we set a we set the standard today and go forward from there. And I think too, it's it's a youth movement this year. I think I think it, what's going to happen is we're going to see a lot of younger kids developing and stepping up, and that's exciting because they're young and they're just going to get better. I, I've kind of noticed in being part, you know, being around a little bit last year and seeing these kids, they just have a sense of family or togetherness, and it doesn't matter if it's the girl side or boys and together. Um, what things do they do, and what things? May, that you do to kind of promote that it just seems like it's just such a family atmosphere well we've always had that I'm not sure where it came from I think a lot of it just has to do with our kids and then obviously there's been you know incidences over the years where we've had to bond together um, um, you know when Kirk was coaching was the head coach uh, he lost both parents during the time that uh, uh, that he was coaching, coach lost his both bo parents. both parents during the, that time. Um, uh, lot losing my wife last year. I mean, unfortunately, a lot of our kids have had some life experiences that have unfortunately had to come a little too soon in their lives, and, and I think that has something to do with it. And I think the kids in those type of situations, they just have stepped up and uh you know i'd like to i'd like to take credit for it but you know i think our parts are a little small in that and we just had a lot of good kids over the years yeah i i, I, th I think about the coaches i had in, in high school and how i you know i i really wanted to to do all the right things for them and i don't necessarily think of us that way but i think the older we get maybe we are becoming that way where <laughs> the kids kind of want to do the right stuff and they age is creeping respect in maybe what we're doing it's it's a weird it's weird i think it's i think a lot of it's coach gabor because he has that magical ability to be scary as hell but yet <laughs> kids respect him and want to work hard for him so, i'm just a goofball so I, <laughs> you know. thank you jim and i appreciate your time anything else you want to add or highlight that I may have missed or I think I think what you're doing is really awesome I've seen the website yeah. it's cool thanks for doing it sport needs to be promoted and this is a good way to do it thank you the good work thank you gentlemen I appreciate it <laughs> I'm Gabe Eubanks and this is my first year of doing cross country and I'm a senior um, I'm Jesse West um, and I'm a junior I'm Matthew Guevara and I'm a senior I'm Kyle Allen, and I'm a sophomore.
I'm Brian Fitch, and I'm a junior. Thank you very much, gentlemen, um, for doing this today. Uh, we are here with the Lincoln East Spartan Boys Cross Country Team. Um, they completed their time trial last Friday um, and are kind enough to kind of share their thoughts on how that went along with talking about the season um, and a few other items. So how do you think the uh, time trial went? Um, well, we had uh, one of our better runners was injured, but uh, those of us that did uh, compete in it, I feel it did a very good job. Uh, it was our first uh, race-like simulation that we've done uh, uh, since last season, and uh, I feel like we did uh, fairly well. Yeah, I think it went pretty well for all the runners, just like kind of, uh, kind of a, comp a competitive atmosphere. But not ready. But once when we get started with our actual meets, I think it'll get better. Um, we had a lot of improvements this year. Some runners, their hard work over the summer paid off a lot, and they had we had a couple of two-minute, three-minute improvements from last year's time trial. So it was an all overall really good effort. Nice. Oh, yeah, as Matt was saying, we improved a lot. So we're hoping to do better this season and keep improving. Everyone did great in the time trial. I would say it was a really good way to show coaches where we're all at. And it helps us as runners know where to improve and how to do better for the upcoming meet. Thanks. Um, and you kind of alluded to this about you know some of those time drops that some of you had. I know, Matt, you were um, about 50 seconds or more from your PR last year. Um, how did the summer go? Because usually if you have a drop that big or as well as you guys ran, you guys are definitely working out the summer. So how did that summer training go for each of you? Well, me and Kyle ran, ran more miles than we've ever run in our <coughs> lives. So I think he got up to 400 and I got like 350 plus. So it was, it was a really good training program this summer. Nice. Um, for me at least, being a sprinter guy in track and transitioning to distance, I felt like putting in all the miles in the summer really made me dread distance a lot less. Um, it made the time trial a lot easier for me just from all the miles that I put in during the summer. Excellent. Yeah, we kicked off the summer with the cross country clinic at the beginning of June and after that we just casually ran in the mornings from Monday through Saturday and it was nice. Last year, I did summer running as well, and then coming this year, I can definitely see that most of us try it a lot harder during summer running. A lot of our summer running runs were almost as hard as practice, so we got a good feel what practice is going to be like during the summer, so we start the season off strong and ready to compete. And, and last year, you, you kind of had that front runner of Corbin Hubble, and I, I kind of got to witness and be part of the team last year, where, where this year I, I feel that there's kind of that pack and that group in the time trial, you know, Jesse and Matt and, and Fitch and, and Kyle were up there for the majority and Gabe not too far behind with a few other teammates. Um, is, that, is that something that Coach Hubble or Coach Kaborik um, we're talking about a kind of more pack running, or is that just something that came about of you guys running better when you're you're running side by side and pushing each other, or maybe a little bit of mixture of both? Yeah, Kaborik is always talking about uh, when we go out on our runs and we do our either fast tempo or slow tempo to be within one arm's length ahead of the runner, and uh, he's really encouraging us to stick together as a team. And uh, you know, if you have more left, then you got to use up what you can at practice. But he's really encouraging us grouping together. I remember during the time trial we just had a few days ago, he kept um, telling us to stick together because we were running um, together for a uh, big majority of the time trial. And I think that's a good thing because we're all pretty good. And yeah, just sticking together and getting better. I think we are grouping together more this year because we all worked out together over the summer. And so since we've been practicing together, we've kind of caught up with one another. You know, Jesse used to be way out in front of all of us, and now we've kind of caught up to him, and he's also getting faster too. So we're all improving as a team, not as individuals now, which is really good. Yeah, we've all trained together, so it just feels more comfortable and better just to run as a group and to keep together. Going into the summer, we were all at different levels, and running together as a group, especially during the summer, really helped us all 
get close with each other and really know how we how we run and running together in packs especially during competitions it really helps us push each other and it makes ourselves run better I feel like when we're in a group we run better because we all push each other and encourage each other as we run good now I know this Saturday you've got the Nebraska Westland invite um, at Pioneer Park but looking kind of further ahead into the season. Is there any particular races you're looking forward to? Maybe there's a favorite course or just one place where you guys um, really excel at for running? Uh, well, for me at least, what I'm looking forward to most is probably uh, the last meet, the state meet, assuming I make it to it. Um, because um, as a runner, I always, uh, uh, I'm always looking to have that pinnacle and I feel like the state meet would be mine for this season been working hard all summer and uh, continuing every week to get better and better. So I'd like to make it to there. So after um, the NWU invite this Saturday, we have the Walnut Grove invite on the south, and that's kind of one I look forward to just because um, a lot of us like that course. And there's also the LPS championships around the um, end of September, I think. And I usually like the run in that meet as well. And it's just districts to look forward to to try and qualify for state. Right. Um, I'm actually looking forward to the hack meet because uh, it's going to be in Fremont this year. And that's a course I've never been to. So I'm really interested to see what that course is like and try something new. Well, I'm excited for some of the big meets, like city and districts, like we mentioned, because we can see what we can do against everybody mm -hmm. and see where we're at. I'm looking forward to the Carney meet, and one of the reasons why is because it's it's a hard meet. The course is a lot different than Pioneers Park, and it really pushes us to our limits. And it's also kind of the start of the more important meets. After following Carney, we have the the bigger meets after that, and so Carney is a good it's it's a good meet to put in all that we've been working towards and really focus on that. Nice. Gentlemen, I greatly appreciate you taking your time um, doing this. Good luck this season. Continue up the hard work and definitely continue pushing each other in pack running because you guys are going to go far. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Loudon and I'm a junior. And I'm Lexi and I'm a junior as well. All right. Thank you very much, ladies, um, for doing this today. We are with the Lincoln East Spartans. Um, Friday they did their time trial, and we're just kind of getting back to see how they think the time trial went. Uh, I think it went really well. It was my first time running and for a first time and just experiencing the whole, I don't know, 5K in general because I've never done it before. It was, it was new, but it was really fun. And it was pretty rough, but it was also really fun because we know the course pretty well, so that was fun. A little sore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now... Kind of coming back with Kristen, is this is your first year out for cross country. Last year when you did track, mm -hmm. um, you were a hurdler and kind of got up to the 400, but nothing really beyond that. So what kind of motivated you or decided that you wanted to do cross country? Um, well, at first it started, I w just was wanting to do it so I could improve my track times. But now I figured out that I like cross country a lot more <laughs> than I like track. And so... I don't know, I just really, I want to improve my times for this and do as well as I can and just see how that transfers into track and see how it all works out. Nice. Now, being part of the program last year, I was fortunate enough to see you run last year, Lexi, and see how the improvement you made. Um, so going into this summer and going into this season, what, what maybe might be your expectations or what did you do different this summer now realizing that you're you're really an amazing runner. Thank you. Um, I So the summers before the last couple seasons, I haven't really run all that much, or at least as much as I should have been. And so this summer I really tried to like do every single day and get like the 300 or so miles in during the summer. And I think that's really like helping a lot this season because I'm already in shape and it, it's a lot easier. It feels a lot better. better. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now you have the first meet coming up this Saturday, the Nebraska Westland at Pioneer Park, but kind of looking beyond that, um, are there any specific meets or courses that you may be, may be looking for? And this may be more of a question towards you, Lexi, since you've 
done this a couple of years now? Um, I like the district meet. I think that's like the most fun for me. I like the Pioneers course and yeah, it's my favorite. Now with this being your first year out, Kristen, what things, I know it's early on in this season, so I don't know how much summer running um, part of in that, but what things have you and the team, the kind of the girls done for bonding and just kind of forming that nice nucleus and gel to? Well, I definitely came out for summer running. And so all of the girls that have been doing that, like we've all gotten really, really close. And it's not even just going out for runs. We would go out to eat together mm -hmm. and like just hang out basically. So that's really helped coming into the season. So we all already know each other, which it just makes it more fun enjoyable when we're all like running can be really hard sometimes <laughs> and so it's nice to know that your friends are just like right there with you yeah definitely agree with that it's really hard but best sport out there <laughs> yeah. so uh, i'm a little biased so um thank you ladies very much good luck this season uh,